In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, simple little um, clamp table using the Craig clamp tracks and the Craig clamps. Uh, these can be a little tricky to install, um, but I'll walk you through it step by step. Okay, after I've cut my piece <clears throat> 48 by 30, uh, I'm going to take this Craig clamp track and I'm going to align it with the edge, flush with the corner here and flush with the edge over here, make a line where it rests. This is going to be uh, this space here, that's intentional and you'll see why later. After I've made that mark there, which I've already done, I'm going to, starting from this end here, I'm going to measure <clears throat> Let's move this just a little bit. I want to measure in from this edge. This is where we're going to put our screws or our bolt holes, and this is very important. So I'm going to measure in from this edge here, three eighths of an inch and one and seven eighths of an inch. And I'm going to uh, draw lines. You know, this way and this way. That's the lines of the screws. <clears throat> so, three-eighths of an inch and one and seven-eighths. Make a mark here and here. Use a straight edge to mark them out. And then, after measuring in from this side, I'm going to come in an inch and a half and make a mark. From that mark on the rest of the way, we're going to do six inches every six inches then and i've already done this but you're going to take an awl or a center hole punch and you're going to put right at that intersection it's important that this hole be drilled vertical or perpendicular to surface and right on the line both of them because this track i don't know if you can see it or not but the bolts that hold this track in here are going to come up from the bottom and you're going to have to you're going to have to be able to slide this track in so it's important that those bolts that we put in these holes are perpendicular to the surface and aligned perfectly so what i did this is a sharp point any sharp point will do a nail will do i set it right on the intersection and then just tapped it with a hammer then I took a small, very small drill bit. This is 564 and I set where I'd made that hole and then we drilled. Again, make sure your drill is perpendicular with the surface both ways. And you drill in and I've done that down through here. Uh, I've got a few more here to do. Here's one. So I just, I make sure I'm lined vertical this way, vertical this way. And then drill right on that where I made that hole. These pilot holes are important because as you get bigger with your bits, let me find the screws that actually go in this. The nut, the, these are going to go in, the head, will, the head will be on the bottom, and this, <clears throat> the nut will be up in here in this track. That's why it's going to be very tricky if you ask me to get this on there, but that's how Craig says to do it. Makes a good, good strong clamp, though. Anyway, that's the screw we're putting through there, so we're going to get bigger holes, probably, I think they asked for a, um, let me see what they tell you. Uh, 
nine thirty seconds of an inch. So eight thirty seconds is a quarter, so we're just slightly over a quarter of an inch. So that's what we're going to work up to. I've got pilot holes in here. I'll probably do something like an eighth here now, and then we'll go to the nine thirty seconds. Okay, after carefully drilling these holes out to a quarter of an inch, I found that they fit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, push them up through. Directions called for 930 seconds. Uh, and I may have to do that if these aren't fitting real well, but I'm going to try it this way first. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, bolts up through from the bottom. We'll put a, oh shoot, I was supposed to put a washer on there. Well, let's do that then. All right, the last six will have washers. I'll have to go back and the other eight with a washer. reason for the 930 seconds is probably to give these a little play because unless these are perfectly straight up I don't know if I'm gonna have enough uh, leeway to slide that track on there but this makes it nice because they'll stick there I drilled it out gradually too I started with a very small bit and just gradually worked up to a quarter inch. All right, so we're going to have to put the uh, washers on these. In case you're wondering, this... <clears throat> This track will hang out over the bench. This will be the top of a bench. Um, what am I doing here? Okay. So I don't have to re uh, I don't have to countersink for the head of this bolt because it's going to be hanging out over the edge of the bench I put it on. All right, <clears throat> time for a nut. We're going to start the nut, but we want to leave a quarter inch between the nut and the surface. Moment of truth. I'm gonna align these so they're all Ready to fit in the track. I guess I can do that as I start it, but I'm going to start it from this side. Okay. 
since we're done with Wow. I'm a blessed man. All right, just a matter of tightening it to the bottom. Doing the same thing over here with this one. Well, it's out of view there, but I'll show you later. But it goes on the other edge. And I'm going to call it a night. So here is the top after I uh, attach this uh, Craig clamp track. The same way I did that one. Um, I think I did mention before you install this, even though your piece is more than likely uh, at a 90 degree angle, make sure when you install that, that uh, use a speed square and put it in the corner of it and make sure it's nice and square. Makes for a handy little table if you're doing uh, old picture frames or whatever. These are just a couple scrap pieces of wood. But when you put them together, if you're wanting to uh, put some kind of a joint between them, you can make sure you've got them at a, a right angle. Um, this clamp is also made by Craig. Very handy little thing. I'm going to have to get me some more because I really do like them. Um, if you're wanting to hold a piece of wood, you know, while you cut it or whatever, you just put it on there. This can be tightened to hold it down tight. Must be going the wrong way. There you go. And then you can cut, cut your piece. Uh, just a variety of uses for this little table. Um, as I said, the top will overhang the bench. Uh, I made, or cabinet, I made this cabinet out of a couple, uh, a pair of, I don't know what they were actually, little, little stands that we found in a house we were rehabbing, my son and I. And I, there's just two of them, back to back, got doors on the front. And I don't know how much of you can see, but I've got it on wheels. I made a little cart out of two befores and uh, put some little casters on here. Um, we can, we've got storage down here for saw blades. And on the other side, I've got my router bits, router tools. Um, nothing pretty. It could be dressed up, but uh, who am I trying to impress? Um, so... As I said, I can put my router table on that. And that makes, uh, puts everything at a comfortable height. As you're working on it, you've got everything at a nice, comfortable height. And that's a wrap. Next video. Getting jiggy with jigs.